before I move on to the next video, I want to show you the shortcuts to do what we just did. So with the rectangular marquee selected, make sure it's set to new selection. You want to um, learn the shortcuts. So if I click and drag, okay, you guys know how to do that. But if I want to easily add to my selection, you hold down shift. So I'm holding down the shift key and you'll see the plus sign. And then I can select that. Okay, so shift is to add to a selection. Alt is to subtract. So if I hold down my alt key, you can see I can cut out part of a selection here. And then from here, go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and you'll see how you cut out a hole there. So that is the shortcuts. So now we're going to move on to another tool. It's the elliptical marquee tool. So you want to go over to your rectangular marquee tool and right click, select elliptical marquee. And this one's a little more tricky. So you want to click and drag out a circle, kind of estimate where it's at. Do not unclick yet. Push down your space bar and you'll see you'll be able to move it around. If I let go of my space bar, you can see I can then adjust the size again. So what I tend to do is hold down the space bar, line it up to the top left hand corner of the object, let go of the space bar, and then adjust my size of my selection here. Once you unclick, your selection is stuck. So you want to make sure that um, you get it set before you unclick your mouse. So from here, we're going to make a copy of the basketball. So control C on your keyboard or edit copy and then control V or edit paste. From here, you want to go back up to your move tool and move your copied basketball over to the left or the right of it. Before you move on, click your background again and move on to the next image.